What's up guys, Lost Boy Pokemon here. Today we got something a little different for you. Uh, I'll be showing you guys all my rare Japanese cards that I've been collecting. And then uh, we'll get into a box of Hidden Fates to close it out with. So, basically, I'll start with um, base set. Yeah, this is all base set. Um, hollows. And then my E-Series cards. The reason I'll do those last is because I think the artwork on those is just the coolest, so do that at the very end. So this first stack here, we have a Pokedex, and all the quality on these Japanese cards are just so great, I mean, centering's always pretty much for the most part always perfect I mean basically you just gotta w watch out for whitening but all these cards are super minty um, yeah anything anything in here is not gonna be played or anything these are all super mint or near mint so got the pokedex next up where I got a base set Kadabra Again, all centering. I don't really need to show you the backs. I mean, they're all going to be perfectly centered. But yeah, this one in the front, really well centered too. Next, we got a Dratini. Number 147. Next up is a Vulpix. Number 37. And Voltorb. It's got like a hair on it. And next up, a Magmar. Magikarp Gang. You know I gotta have one of those in the set. Next is a Machoke. Number 67. I have a Tangela. A Starmy, right? Yeah, I think right. Then, wait. What star is that? Damn, I forgot. I'm drawing a blank right now. The other star. <laughs> And then got base set Squirtle. I love that artwork so much. It's so cool. Poliwig. Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. I have a Onyx, a Magnemite, Machop, Coughing, Abra. Poliwhirl. Didn't I have a Poliwag already? Man, I should really like keep these in some kind of order. They're just all... All scattered together. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so we'll try to order this a little bit. Alright, so we got... Poliwag. Poliwhirl. Then I do have the hollow to complete this trio, but that's in the separate pile. All right, and then I got, all right, now these are all kind of mixed in. Um, so that was all base set. Now this is just kind of mixed stuff. So I have a Misty's Magikarp. From the 
from Fossil Set a Gasly. A first edition Team Rocket Squirtle. A first edition Team Rocket Charmander. A base set Charmander. Base set Squirtle. War Turtle. Bulbasaur. And an Ivysaur. So that is it for the regular non hollows. Next up, we have holographics. These are uh, base set, some gym heroes, uh, some gym challenge. So, yeah. First up, we got a um, Machamp, right? Yeah, Machamp. <laughs> Holographic. This one's super nice. Got a tiny bit of whitening up here, but besides that, Card is just pristine. And next, to complete this trio, have Polyrath. Super nice card. Something with the Japanese cards too, it's so rare to find Hollow Bleed. Like, these Hollows are just all amazing. So, yeah. Polyrath. And then a fossil magneton. This hollow looks super cool as well. And then next we have a Giovanni's Gyarados. Super cool card. This is from Gym Challenge, I believe. I don't know, it was different in Jap Japanese. I think this is called like there's Gym Leaders and then something else. I don't know, I forgot. But in the English, this would be Gym Challenge. Next we have Lieutenant Surge's Furo. Super nice hollow on that card. Next up, we have Misty's Gold Duck. Then we have Misty's Cedra. Really nice hollow on there as well. And then if you weren't sick of Misty yet, we have her, uh, fuck, what is that called? Um, oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I was remembering everything and then I forgot this. I forgot, I rarely see this Pokemon, so yeah, I forgot what that is, but I got it. <laughs> All right. And the next one I know, a super cool card, Erica's Venusaur. I love this card. This is so cool. I love how it's like the only one that's like off center too. Just really nice. And then next, one of my favorite cards. Well, not in the Team Rocket, but just in general. I love this Pokemon. This is that Alakazam? This is uh, from Team Rocket Set. Number 65. Super nice. It's like a light shining in. Just looks so cool. Next up from Team Rocket as well, a Hypno. I love the hollow in this. It looks so cool. There is like eyes in the hollow. Like that looks so cool. That's a really nice hollow. I'll leave it in a little bit. Alright, and then last but not least, a Team Rocket Gyarados. A Dark Gyarados, sorry. From Team Rocket set. Alright, so that's it for the Hollows. Uh, next up, the E series. These are some of my favorite cards. These are so cool. So I'll keep it zoomed in so you can. Really appreciate the artwork on these. I forgot the name of this first card, but 
yeah, it's a trainer, and it looks pretty cool. It's like a wizard guy and an owl. Um, first edition as well. Most of these are first edition. So these have the newer uh, Pokemon background versus the first runs. Say so the pocket monsters, and then after, um, yeah, after like the first few sets, they went to this newer one, and they still have this background today. So all these will have that background. All right. We got a cool fish, first edition as well. Like I said, most of these, if not all, no, I think there's a few in there that aren't first edition, but basically all of them are first edition, except for a small handful. Got a Hitmonlee. God, artwork is just so cool in this set. I love it. <laughs> Look at this Grimer. It looks like, uh... Oh my god, what is that called? Grimace <laughs> from McDonald's. <laughs> so funny. Next we have a, like, watercolor. No, no, not watercolor. What the hell is that? It's so weird. Just I love the painting style. It looks so cool. Uh, okay, I guess we have <laughs> copies of those. All right. It was... Wait. Okay, so this was first edition. This one's not. But these are both first edition? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. There's multiples. Alright, so then we have first edition Magikarp, baby. That artwork is so cool. Man, 30 HP? Come on, mess with them. What you gonna do? And next up, my favorites, we got Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, baby. I think I like this artwork more than this. It's just like so, like abstract sketch, looks so cool. That's definitely a cool card though too. All right, and then next up we have a Gasly first dish. The next, of course, Haunter. I've yet to get the Gengar. Oh man, I wish I could show you the Gengar art in the E series. It is so sick. All right, and then these are the last cards of the E series coming up. So I hope you enjoyed. These are my favorite artworks of all time. It's so nice. So we have a first edition coughing. Look at that artwork. That is sick. It's just mind blowing that that's a Pokemon card. And then a nice segue into these final cards. We got some copies here. All first edition, but we have another insane artwork wheezing. We have one, two, three, and then the final one is a banger. The holographic version. So sick. These are just insane artworks. And this is first edition as well. It's hard to see through the plastic, but this is just like perfect condition. I love this card so much. That's why I got it in so much plastic. <laughs> Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we'll get into some Hidden Fates now. Today we have a Charizard Collection Box. Hidden Fates. Got the promo card, the big promo card, and four booster packs. So, you guys have all seen these before, so I'm just going to open this and, uh, yeah, we'll get through these packs. Alright, so, as always, we have four booster packs, and we'll get right into it. 
I still have some regular cards from the set I need for my binder. So hopefully we can knock some of those out if we don't get anything too crazy. All right, we have a Leaf Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Bunch of Trainers, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Jigglypuff Reverse, and Vaporeon Hollow. Doubled up on the Vaporeon, if not three of those, but not bad. I don't think there was anything in there. Um, yeah, there's nothing in there I needed for my set. So, next pack. Man, these packs feel super light. What the hell? I feel like it's like a lot of air in the pack or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Sorry about that jump cut, guys. My camera overheated, so I swear I didn't look at anything. So hopefully if I do get anything crazy, it'll be in the next two packs. That way you guys know I didn't tamper with anything. But going forward, we have a Fire Energy. Pewter City Gen, Metapod, Giovanni's Exile, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Charmeleon Reverse Hollow, I think I need that in the reverse, and Jolteon, alright, cool, so there wasn't anything crazy in there. <laughs> alright, next we have a Mewtwo Kamehameha artwork. Come on, you bastard. All right, another fire energy. Misty's Gym, Brock's Gym, Metapod, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy. Oh, nice. A shiny. Very cool. And an electrode. So, our first pull. Hopefully, there's something in here because that would suck if we just get a regular shiny. But it's whatever. I need that for the collection, anyways. So, last pack magic. Let's get it. Three legendary birds artwork. Can we get something cool? Maybe a rainbow legendary birds card. That would be fantastic. Or Team Rocket full art. I feel like everyone's been pulling that and I am envious. Everyone's pulling it and I need it. <laughs> Alright, Brock's Gym. Chansey. Graveler. Magikarp. Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Graveler Reverse Hollow. Oh, no way, boys, we did it! Oh, hell yeah! Oh my god, speak of the devil. I ordered this card on, I ordered this card on eBay for like record price. It was like eight bucks. You know, not a lot, but the card never came. I was so pissed. Oh, I pulled it. Hell yeah. Damn. Sick, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, let's uh, find the spot for this in the binder. Sick. All right, so there we go. 68 of 68. Super dope. 
Hell yeah. Alright, so that'll do it for this one. I finally pulled Team Rocket Full Art, so hopefully uh, next time we can do the uh, Charizard, you know, maybe it happens. Probably not, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.